Hello and welcome to the File Center Portal Tutorial Series. In this video, we will go over how to manage shares with your guest users. Now to do this, we're going to go ahead and select the folder that we want to manage. So we're going to go ahead and select the Kevin Anderson folder. We're going to click on Shares up here above. And off to the right, we're going to be able to see all of the guest users that have uh, access to this particular folder. Now, what we're going to be talking about is how to go in and manage the information that's here. So we can see right now that we have a, a guest by the name of Nancy, and we can see even that the access has expired. So Nancy no longer has access if she was to try and log in. Um, and so to go ahead and clean things up a little bit here, I'm going to select Nancy and then go, come up here onto the top right corner of the portal window and click on delete. Um, what you'll see is you'll come in and you'll have a confirmation share delete uh, to just confirm that you want to delete the selected share. We go ahead and click on yes. That'll go ahead and delete the actual uh, information for Nancy on that particular folder. Now to edit somebody, so let's just say this guest user JP3, we want to go ahead and edit this particular guest. You'll see that there's no password for, for this JP3 user. Uh, we also see that they don't have the ability to upload and they don't have an expiration date. So we're going to come up here again, we're going to come up to the top right hand corner and click on the edit share button. This is where we can see here's the guest name here's the email address, and then the folder that we are sharing with them. So in this case, I still don't want to let them uh, have the ability to upload to a document to this folder, but I do want them to have a password. Unlike the user uh, for your firm, uh, a password does not have on a folder does not have any special requirements. So you can go ahead and set any type of password here. So we're going to go ahead and enter in a password for this JP3 user. And we also decided that we want to set up an expiration date for them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just take the default uh, of two weeks out to the 26th. And then we're going to go ahead and just resend the email notification to the guest. Um, and just keep in mind that if you have put a password on a share, you want to go ahead and communicate that with your guest user. Uh, otherwise, they won't be able to have access because they don't know what their password is. Once you click OK, that will go ahead and apply all the new settings, and it will also uh, create a uh, confirmation window just letting us know that the email has been sent uh, to the guest user. We'll go ahead and click on OK, and you'll see now uh, the share information has been updated. You can now see that there is a password, uh, still no, no uh, upload capabilities, and there is an expiration date now. Uh, it does show you who, do, who did the creation of the guest uh, so that you can see that here as well. That ends this video for the uh, managing shares with your guest users. Uh, be sure to catch the other videos in the File Center portal series to be uh, better educated on how to share files securely with your clients.